Hi boys and girls, um, I'm back with your video for this week. Um, remember this is an optional project. You have plenty of art projects that you can choose from. And of course you can always choose to do what's in your imagination. So this is just a fun one and I'm gonna show you how to do it with a um, couple different supplies. So don't worry if you don't have something because um, Pretty much, I think that you guys will all have crayons, I hope. And um, if not, you can just do it with um, pen and paper or pencil and paper. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're, uh, I ended up using my artwork to make like a little card. You guys will be able to do whatever you want with that, and I'll mention that in a minute. Um, the book that inspired me is Ed. Eberly's complete fun print drawing book and he's got a lot of these um, fingerprint drawing books and he's got a lot of drawing books that just have basic shapes in them and um, part of this project was in I got the inspiration from a student um, Trey Dennis who loves to draw these figures he doesn't even use his thumbprints and that's where I got the idea for using marker and crayon that I'm gonna show you. So anyway, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to let all of you know where you can find all these pictures. Um, I have a picture here that we're gonna use a reference on my iPad. I'm not sure, yeah, you guys can see that pretty clear, so that should be okay. So first I have my reference for what I wanna do. The other supplies that I'm going to use, because I'm gonna show you all the different ways you can do it, but you don't need all these supplies. You only need to really choose which way you wanna do it. Um, I have a wet, damp sponge, or you can use some baby wipes. I love to have baby wipes on hand all the time. You guys know that because um, they always help clean up. So the other thing I have for one of the techniques I'm gonna show you is a plain plate you don't have, it doesn't have to be a plain color but you do want to be able to see your colors on it and that'll all wash away I have my markers and I have crayons the other thing I have um, and you don't need all of them you only need one of them is a black some kind of black um, pen or a marker and you can also do it in pencil okay so you'll want to have these to be your to use as your black line all right, and try to keep your stuff organized in little things so you don't get all quite as messy as I do. All right, so let's begin. So as I always tell you guys, you always want to do sketches first. So I have a few little pieces of sketch paper, pra practice paper that I tore up um, from a big piece, and I'm gonna begin my sketches. So first thing first, like I said, you have your reference. Um, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna draw a line. And I don't even have to do it on this one because this is my practice sheet and I'm just gonna draw a line, okay? The first technique that I'm gonna show you is using the markers, okay? And I'm only gonna show you two samples. I'm gonna show you the caterpillar and the frog and the other ones I think you can figure out on your own. Now I want you to look at these carefully and you'll see that the fingerprints are either ovals or they're circles, okay? Um, so when you go to do this project with marker or crayon, all you're gonna be doing is drawing circles or ovals, okay? So that being said, let's get started. Now, for this project, you have 10 paintbrushes right at the end of your fingertips. Now, moms, dads, grandmas, whoever's helping out here um, or not, just keep in mind that we are gonna get a little bit messy. Okay, so you wanna lay something down, have your baby wipes or a wet paper towel or something like that, a washcloth handy. And then you'll want your sponge or something like that handy also. Okay, so what you're going to be doing with this is it's pretty straightforward. I think some of you can probably guess by seeing my thumb here, is that you're gonna take your marker, keep the cap off for a few minutes, and you're going to just 
color on your thumb. That's right. We are actually going to color on our hands. You know that um, that it's not always a good idea to do this, but this one's kind of fun. We're going to make an oval on our thumb, and then we're going to breathe on it a little bit. <sighs> Unless you're really super fast, and I'm not the fastest, and then we're going to put our thumb down on our paper, and we have one thumbprint, and then we're going to do it again. And we're going to have another thumbprint. Now that's for the top and bottom of our frog. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our top back on nice and tight until we hear that click. And we're going to take our pen or our pencil and we're going to draw on the details. Okay. That's why your reference is important. Okay. Got some froggy eyes here. And those are just like mountain shapes or upside down U shapes. And then we have a long flat curve shape, two little dots for the nose, and then some U's that are sideways for these legs, the side legs, and then the front legs. And there's our frog, easy peasy. Okay, now boys and girls, we're going to use another finger to create our caterpillar. Now, I have a pink pinky and I have a red pinky. And I'm going to be using orange. And the reason this one is really red is because I've been using red and orange on it. I'm just going to wipe it off, make sure that it's pretty clean. And you can tell it's stained, but it's pretty clean. That's okay if it stays stained like that. It's not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to color this one. And it gets a little hard, especially if you're going, you know, trying to do stuff with your left hand and you're not used to it. But you just have to practice. And remember, this is my practice sheet. One, and I'm doing this pretty quick. So I don't have to um, breathe on it. Two, and that one's a little crooked, but that's okay. Caterpillar's not that perfect. Three. And my picture has, what, five little circles. I'm going to make mine five, two, four, five for the body. Okay. Now I'm going to put that cap away. And then I think I'm going to do a blue face because I saw one in another part of the book that had a blue face. Now I have to find a blue finger. Okay. Now I don't want to use the red finger because if I did, boys and girls, it will make it look kind of muddy and yucky. And I think I have a sample to show you. Let's see here. Look at this one. That one kind of got all pink and dirty and green. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to use my blue finger. Yep, I've named my fingers by color. Silly. And I'm going to push that down like that. Look at my caterpillars coming to life. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a big happy face on my caterpillar. Use some eyes. Big, huge smile. And have to have some antennas. And let's not forget his little caterpillar feet. Okay, there you go. So that's how you do the thumbprint once. Now remember, boys and girls, try not to mix up your fingers too much. And um, it's good to give them a wipe with one of your baby wipes in between. I just keep my baby wipes on a dish. Okay, and then you can dry those off on a paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to show you another technique. Um, and I'm just going to flip this over to show you, because this is my scrap. This is my practice, remember. I'm just going to flip this over, and I'm going to show you how I do this technique. Now, this technique gets a little bit more watercolory and blotchy, but it kind of works, too, if you don't want to paint on your fingers. Okay, so I take the marker, and some of you have seen me do this in school, and um, I do calligraphy. And I'm going to put that marker on the plate like it's paint. And I'm gonna dab my finger over here on the sponge, and then I'm gonna dab it onto the paint. Or I should, I'm calling it paint now, but it's really just watercolor um, marker. And I'm gonna make my dots, okay? And I'm gonna do another one. And I think these are gonna be the bottom of a flower. Whoop, what happened to my picture? Let's see. Let's see if we can find our picture back. Here's our picture back. 
okay? And I, that's, a, as you probably saw, there were students in those pictures. That was part of the eighth grade video. I have to look forward to seeing that soon. Okay, and I'm gonna make a flower. Now, I'm gonna use the pink. So I'm gonna dip my finger on the sponge so it's nice and wet, and I'm gonna dip it into the pink. And I'm gonna see how this works because I didn't put more on it. And I'm gonna make a flower. That one didn't work so good. So I'm gonna put down some more pink. Just, I'm not pushing too hard, I'm just rubbing it. I get my finger kind of wet, and then I'm gonna dip it. There it goes, nice and wet, and do that again. Again, remember I said it takes practice. Oops, there and there. And then I'm gonna let that be because I think I'm gonna just color in the middle of the flower. There we go, just like that. And I have a flower, okay? So that's how you do that technique um, with the plate and the markers if you don't wanna color right on your fingers, okay? This stays wetter a little longer and you can kinda of go back and forth. It just depends, so practice both if you would like. Now, for those of you that are like, I really wanna do this, but I don't have any markers. What you're gonna do is you're going to look at your picture and you're gonna see that you know what shapes they are. And again, I said this was inspired by one of our students um, and he loved these books, but he didn't want to use the markers on his fingers. So what he did is he used crayon. And I wanna show you, before I get started, a picture that I did just using crayons. I think it looks pretty darn good. I think it looks just as good as some of my thumbprint samples, don't you say? Okay. And again, the other thing is I also did one just drawing it without getting my fingers all inky. So either way is good. All right, so I'm gonna draw my grass. And you know what the thing I like that I'm using crayons? I can actually draw my grass in crayons. Okay, put up some little grass in my crayons. All right, and then I'm going to draw my caterpillar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle next to a circle, next to a circle, next to a circle, next to a circle, and I'm just gonna color those in. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a red, another crayon, and I'm gonna draw another, just trying to blow some of this stuff out of the way, another, okay. And then I'm going, you can use your marker on top of this, but you have to be really gentle. I'm gonna put a little dot, a little dot. Or you can use your pen. I think pen works a little bit better with crayon. So if you can find yourself a pen, that's probably the way to go. And again, you can also use your crayons, okay? And then the little feet. Okay. So boys and girls, you can draw all of these. I'm just gonna do a really, really quick little frog over here. I'm drawing an oval. And then an oval underneath. And then I'm just taking my pen and drawing the details of my frog. Big happy frog. And then I make him with his tongue out. Okay. And then legs his legs okay boys and girls like I said you can also draw your details in with your pencil okay go over that maybe the pencil is better or if you want you can draw everything on with your crayon do all your details with your crayon. All right, boys and girls, have fun with this. For your final one, take a really great sheet of paper, a really nice sheet of paper, I should say. Fold it over. If you wanna make a card, hamburger fold. Fold it nicely. And then, there you go, you would have a card. Okay, so whatever you want to make with these, even if you want to do a bunch of little ones, you could have a bunch of little ones, make a bunch of little cards. They could be little note thank you cards. Okay, boys and girls, have fun.